when I was in grad school, I had to undergo these observations. Basically, what that means is a professor comes in and watches you teach. And I was terrified. I was so scared. This was my first time ever being in front of college students teaching mathematics. It was basic calculus that I was teaching them. And this professor came in and he observed me. Afterwards, I met with him to you know, discuss the results of my observation. And I had so much respect for this guy, and I still do. And he told me that I reminded him of him. He said, you remind me a lot of myself when I started. You're a lot like me. And I was like, wow, this is really cool because this guy had a PhD from Princeton. And I just thought he was just such a cool professor, a great guy. He was never my teacher, but I remember feeling really good when he said that. So today I opened my email and I got an email from this guy. His name is Omar. And his email reminds me of myself when I was starting college. When I started college, I was a high school dropout. I took a GED, which is like this test you take in the US that basically gives you a high school equivalence. And I went in and I spoke to my college advisor and I told him that I wanted to get a PhD in computer science. And he didn't laugh at me. He took me really seriously. He put me in this advanced class, which was basically pre-algebra and intermediate algebra combined. This person, Omar, is taking intermediate algebra. And they have a question that I think a lot of people would look at it and they would say, no, you're not ready. But I think Omar is ready. The subject is proofs writing. Hi, math sorcerer. I'm a big fan for you and for all maths and science. I am a very absolute beginner and now I am studying, math studying intermediate algebra and I know about your roadmap and everything. So my question is, when should I start on proofs writing? Should I start right now? And do you think I should delay my decision? Should I wait until after calculus or something? Thank you. So here's a person who is just getting started with mathematics, just like me, right? Just like me, just like I was, intermediate algebra. And they wanna know if they can jump into proofs. I think the obvious answer is yes. Absolutely, because the wonderful thing about proof writing is all you have to do is be able to read. And anything you can learn, anything you learn is better than nothing. I wish I would have started learning to write proofs much sooner than I did. Because once you learn to write proofs, you can get a math degree. That is what keeps people from finishing their math degrees. It's the ability to construct a proof. It is such a huge thing. It is such a huge hurdle. I was really lucky because I was able to take two proof writing classes at the same time. And I think that really helped me. So Omar, I have a book here and I have a ton of books on proof writing and there's free ones on the internet, but I grabbed this one because it's one of the better ones in my opinion. It's also not super expensive. It's called How to Prove It, A Structured Approach by Daniel Bellman. This is a book that I did not want to buy. That's what makes this book even extra interesting. I didn't want to buy it for a few reasons. One, I felt like it was above my price range. I think I made, I paid more than $20 for it. Two, I already had a bunch of proof writing books. Three, I didn't like that it was a soft cover. There might be a hard cover available, but that was, I think, if there is, it's, it's a lot more, I think. But due to peer pressure from people here on the channel, <laughs> I bought the book and I love it. I think this is probably the best proof writing book, in my opinion, currently. This is my favorite one currently. So that's why I'm recommending this one. I'll leave a link in the description, Omar, if you want to check it out. It does a great job explaining what a vacuous truth is. I've never seen a better explanation of vacuous truths anywhere. I, I think Daniel Velman does a superb job I always wish I can get it autographed or something. Um, as a collector, you know, it's, it's it's a big deal. It's a big deal. But wonderful book. And just start reading. You know, it starts from the beginning. You can just get started with it. 
Um, you might not understand stuff. It's okay. Just keep moving. It talks about, you know, statements and some of the logical symbols. And it's going to be very, very different from intermediate algebra. Now, many people are probably watching this and thinking, this person's in intermediate algebra. Why are you recommending proof writing? Typically in colleges, in order to take a proof writing class, at least at some schools, you have to have like Calc 2 before you jump into proof writing because they want you to display some level of mathematical maturity. Mathematical maturity is basically the ability to look at new mathematics and be able to absorb it and learn it. So the more mathematically mature you are, the better you become at just learning math, at reading math books, at understanding notations. You just, you're better at, you know, you, you can read a theorem, you can understand what it says. You just become better at it. It's like anything, right? The more you do something, the better you get. That's basically what mathematical maturity is, at least in my mind. So yeah, I think this is probably the best the best choice. Also, the reason I'm recommending you start now instead of wait is for several reasons. For one, when you learn something on your own, especially proof writing, it's just going to give you this crazy perspective. You know, you're going to be in your algebra classes, you're going to see these statements in the book, and you're going to look at them and you're going to say, "Where's the proof?" <laughs> You're going to feel pretty superior to your textbooks in many cases because a lot of the books that are used in these classes, right, in the college algebra classes, uh, intermediate algebra, pre-calculus, a lot of times they'll skip the proofs. It's not really until sometimes until you get to the, you know, some trig stuff and some calculus stuff that you do see proofs, although a lot of times the proofs are in the back of the book. But you're going to feel pretty good. You're going to feel pretty confident. It's going to make you feel smarter. It's going to make you feel better. It's going to give you a really big confidence boost. And it's also going to help you understand math in ways that other people in your class don't understand math. You know, the way that a student taking calculus looks at calculus is not the way that a teacher looks at calculus. You know, you, you think about things different ways. The more math you learn, the better you get and you, and you look at things from different perspectives. You think about them different ways. And it just evolves over time, right? You just get better and better and better. So by jumping into something like proof writing, I think that's going to help you. I think it's a fun side thing you can do. Now, obviously, don't let it interfere with your class. You know, make sure you rock the tests and do super awesome on every test. But I think it's going to motivate you to do even better in intermediate algebra. You know, so when you're learning how to divide rational expressions or find the equation of a line, you know, it's, it's just going to, it's going to make you appreciate it more because you're learning this other math on the side. And... The truth is, it's always more fun to learn what you don't have to learn. It doesn't matter what class you're in, you always want to learn something else. It's like if you're taking trigonometry, you probably want to study calculus. If you're taking calculus, you want to learn discrete math. If you're taking combinatorics, you want to learn complex analysis. It's always more fun to learn what you don't have to learn, you know, to learn for the sake of learning. Whenever there's deadlines and pressures and tests, it makes it less fun. It's just something about the way we are as human beings. But yeah, I think it's a great book and I recommend it. So yeah. By the way, if anyone wants to learn math, I do have courses. Before I forget, let me just mention this on my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathvids.com. But just go to mathsorcerer.com and I have courses on math there. So yeah. Until next time, good luck. Take care. Keep doing math.